QuickBooks Online 2024 Management Reports Customization. Get ready and some coffee because we're doing some quick thinking with QuickBooks Online 2024. Here we are online in our browser searching for QuickBooks Online Test Drive, looking for the result that has Intuit.com in the URL, Intuit being the owner of QuickBooks, selecting the United States version of the software and verifying that we're not a robot. Opening up our reports like we do every time, reports on the left hand side in the favorites, right clicking on the balance sheet, open link in new tab, right clicking on the profit and loss, open the link in a new tab. Let's go to that middle tab we just opened, close up the hamburger, change that range, going from 01, 01, 23 tab, 12, 31, 23, back to 2023, running to refresh it, tabbing to the right closing the hamburger we're going to change the range on the profit and loss or income statement as well the ranges they are changing going from 010123 tab 123 tab run it to refresh it let's go back to the balance sheet that's been the report that we have been focused in on in this section we've been thinking about in a prior section once we save our reports and generate our reports how can we provide them to our client, which I'm usually thinking in terms of a bookkeeper, but you also have a similar situation if you're trying to batch your reports, possibly giving it to an external user, possibly an accountant, or possibly like a supervisor. The presentation of the reports is gonna be very important if you're giving it to someone such as a client. So you might do it periodically, monthly, quarterly, uh, or yearly. And we thought about all the different ways or many different ways that we can basically create even just this one balance sheet report with comparative reports and summary uh, reports, vertical analysis, horizontal analysis, and so on. So we note that we can give it to a client by emailing it. We can print it and provide it to them in mail or by hand as well, but it's more likely that it's gonna be some electronic format these days. If we email it to someone, we would like to at least put the attachments in order and or zip a file. We also could put it on a cloud drive, saving it as a PDF file or even an Excel file and putting it on a cloud drive. We could use Excel to actually put all the sheets on one page and then Excel can be used along with a PDF printer to print all the documents on uh, one page, which is nice. We'll do that in a future presentation. Uh, the other thing we can do is we can go to the tab to the left and in the reports area, we have this manage reports here. So this does a similar thing as what I'm suggesting with Excel, trying to get all the reports on one page and give like a nice little title page in a nice format to it. So uh, QuickBooks provides a few of these report overviews, the company overview, the sales performance overview and the expenses performance. We'll just look at the company overview and you can it'll be similar in terms of how they work with the other two as well. So you've got the report period, you've got this month uh, to date, this quarter, uh, this quarter to date, this year. These will basically change the date ranges of the reports basically automatically. So that is nice. And then we have the preview and then in the dropdown, we can edit it. We can send it, we can export as a PDF, export as a document and duplicate it. Now, because these three are kind of the default ones, I would think about them as the standard template and possibly not edit these ones directly, but rather either create a new one or create a duplicate of one of these existing reports and then edit that one. So you could create another one up top, create the management report, gives you a template uh, outline because I'm thinking that we're gonna do one that's similar to the company overview, we might duplicate that one. So let's do that. If I hit the drop down, we're gonna duplicate that one and that'll give us another one. So now we've got the company overview number one. If I go into the editing, we can say, okay, what if I edit this one? It gives you a nice cover page. You see the preview on the right hand side. You can add a logo if you so choose. It's a cover report for a management report. So, so maybe if you're not management and you're doing the, the bookkeeping or something, you might change the name or you know, financial report or something like that, financial statements or something like that. You could have a, a subtitle here if you so choose. 
I'll just put subtitle so you can see where uh, it appears on this side and report period uh, for the period ended December 31st. So it's picking up the period from uh, the report end date and then prepared by, uh, prepared by, and you can put your name here and so on. Prepared date, you have the, you could put the date here and that's appearing down here on the page. Disclaimer for management use only. So you could put then uh, the disclaimer on it. So then we want, also note that we have the drop down up top for uh, the, the periods as well. And if I change the period, it should change this field because it's report end date, which will change the, for the period ended December 31st, 2024. And I'm just gonna put this like monthly financial reports or something like that. You might have a separate one for the end of the quarter, which might have slightly different reports that you wanna populate it with then the end of uh, the year or the end of like any other month that's not the end of a quarter, include title of uh, the contents, ti include table of contents. So here's our table of contents down below. 